let's go see here. Hmm. Good way to end this. This is actually our final question. Okay. We have how many cups in one quart? Okay. This being said, we need to first look at our hopefully unit conversion sheet if it even touches that. I'm not too sure, but it's always a good to start here. If not, we have to now break it down in terms of steps. So, in terms of units of volumes, when we have gallons, oh, we do have quarts. So, if we can turn the quarts, the liquid quarts that's what we're going to work with, into liters, we can then turn the liters into cups. Or actually, we have the quarts into ounces, and then we can use that to turn it into cups. So, we want, we start with one quart. So that's one quart. In fact, let's start with X amount of quart to make this as translatable as possible to every other answer. So here, as you can see, one quart translates to 32 ounces. So that means now we've gotten rid of the quarts. And now I do have to search up um, ounces to cups and see what we get here okay so that means if we just were to convert this and make it a little bit easier to read okay we have now as it says there for every eight ounces it's one cup so now we've cast out the ounces part so then what do we get as the answer we have x times 32 divided by 8 so 32 divided by 8 and we get a nice four. So whatever quart we started with is going to be four X cups. So whatever X we start with, we have four times the amount for cups. So how many cups in one quart then? It'll be four cups in one quart. Let's see how we did. One pint is two cups and one quart is two pints. So the way they solved it is actually kind of similar. You can still cross it out. The quarts cast each other out. The pints cast each other out, leaving you with just four cups, and therefore one quart is equal to four cups. This is correct. There you have it, four cups. So with that being said, that's going to be our final question for tonight. Thank you again for joining me. Um, hopefully, we were able to get some nice. Um, questions and just insight on how to answer these. With that being said, if you have any future questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Check out the links in the description below. We're definitely more than capable and willing to help you with any questions you have just so we can truly understand chemistry or any subject you're interested in just to the fullest. Uh, thank you again for joining me this evening and you have a wonderful rest of your time. Thank <laughs> you.